states that if P of X is divided by X plus A, the remainder is equal to P of minus A. The factor theorem then states that if X plus A is a factor of P of X, then P of minus A is equal to zero. So let's have a little example of this and how we can use our CAS calculator to solve these type of questions very, very quickly. So for example, if the polynomial x cubed minus ax squared plus 2x plus 3 is divided by x plus 2, the remainder is equal to 3. So what we want to do is we want to find this value of a. All right, so let's open up a calculator page to do this. So I'll press the calculator page. And I always like to define my functions. So to define functions, we go menu, actions, uh, define. We're not going to be graphing this function, so I'll just call it f of x. So I'll define f of x equal to x. I'll press the um, power key cubed. Press the cross arrow to get out of the power. Now it's minus a times x squared. So this is important that when we type the a, we type now a multiply x squared. Otherwise, it'll think of ax squared as one variable, which is often a little trick that uh, students do plus 2 times x. We really didn't need the times there, but I'll put it in anyway. Okay, so what we really want to do, if it's divided by x plus 2, then what we want to work out is f of minus 2. Notice that because the function f is defined, f now appeared as bold. So substituting x as minus 2 into that expression gives me minus 4a minus 9. So what I really want to do now is to solve for the value of a when the remainder is equal to 3. So menu, algebra, solve. Now, we could type that whole equation in, but it's probably easier just to press the up arrow key twice, grab that, and press Enter. Say that equals to 3, and solve that equation for A. And that'll give me the solution then, that A is minus 3. So that's a nice little quick way of doing sort of questions like this when we do remainder theorems and factor theorems as well. Thank you.